Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl Super League semi-final. We've got Diomed with his red orcs versus Andy Devo with his black and purple orcs. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello! Hello! Fans of the semi-finals of this Blood Bowl Super League. Here we are in the third game of the semi-finals. <laughs> yes, for the benefit of people on YouTube, uh, there was an error. I didn't set it as overtime. I didn't. Make, I should have made a new competition. I didn't, and it, it, there was a whole thing that happened. They drew one-one basically, and now they're now they're playing again. This is the definitive final. So it was it was good that the the previous mess up didn't really mess up too much, right? Because you know it's they're both really good players. There's loads of guard guard advantage for Diamed, right? But a block advantage for Andy. Um, also, Andy has a tackle that is of no use, whereas Diamond has Frenzy, which could be a bad thing. Uh, they both got a mighty blow. And also, in the in the comments, let us know if you like granola, because I've just had granola and I think it's amazing. Granola is a S tier food. Mm. I'm a, in fact, I have my porridge uh, cooling down, you know, my night porridge with uh, protein powder and some uh, peanut butter. Nice. So yeah, but I know when I start a competition between granola and uh, porridge because I think granola will win. Oh, oh double skulls! Wow, instant double skulls. Now you can move this lineman over. Or the big one. I would actually move the lineman over to here. First. <sighs> one in nine. <laughs> Because if this is a double skull, right, he's screwed. Whereas if he moved that guy first... Oh, okay, he's going to move him over. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, that's better. But I would have just done that in case that was a double skull and I could have eaten it then. The two-factor hula blue has not been rectified. Nope. Um, Twitch are blaming um, Orthy and Orthy are blaming Twitch. And neither of them are doing anything about it. So that's great fucking news for me, isn't it? Have you tried using Twitter? Tag both of them. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, Twitter is how I got my YouTube account sorted. So, yeah, maybe just have with to... Uh, uh, made uh, send a message to both uh, customer services accounts, you know, in the same as... Uh, that, that, at that, at that. And then, hey, I have this problem, blah, blah, blah. Both of you have told me, blah, 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 blah. What, what the hell is going on here? Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Granola is okay, terrible James, for you. Depends on the amount of granola you eat. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a silly thing to say. If you have tons of it, it has as much. But it's like what 34, 34 grams in a in a Mars bar, and it's like seventeen grams per hundred in in the granola I got, which is you know probably not the least amount of sugar you can get anyway. I'll look for a less sugary granola. See yeah, I when I was doing the diet, uh, following uh, the program of a uh, actual professional, one mm. of the meals I had was a uh, 200, 200 grams of uh, Greek yogurt, forty grams of, gran of granola, uh, and twenty grams of uh, peanut butter. Mm. Absolutely god tier food. Mm. Fifty grams, Hammers. Fifty grams. Of course, I weigh. I weigh everything. Out. What do you think I am? But uh, I had I gluten free. I I'm, I'm going gluten free now. So there you go. Why are you a celiac? Maybe, maybe. I've had a bad stomach for over six months, and uh, I've also, you know, had kind of. I felt terrible for a long time. So I'm going to try it. It's all right, isn't it? Worse, what comes the worst? I, I just stop eating bread, which is fine, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There's worse things you can do than stop eating bread. Wow, look at Devo with the dodges. The Malmier esque dodges. I tell you what, when orcs make all their dodges away like that, they're fucking hard to beat. That is brutal. That is going to be he a real the good tough dice. drive. He has the good dice. Yeah. Real tough drive for Diamond now. Trying to carve out some penetration. And down a reroll already, with his weakness being. Lack of block biggins. <laughs> yes. I'm sure, I am also sure it's Blood Bowl related. Yeah, Mimit Slayer. There's a reason I'm playing less. <laughs> I 
I've played I've played Blood Bowl most of my life. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? Well, well. From from ten years old, I've played Blood Bowl. That's pretty crazy. Oh, he's going for the frenzy hit. Yeah. Uh, no, no, he's got mighty blow, hasn't he? Yeah, he'll go for the mighty blow, surely. Surely. But if he was going for... I don't know, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, dropping the bread, yeah. Yeah, exactly right. It can't be bad. It can't be bad to just... Oh, he's going for the frenzy one. It can't be bad dropping bread. And the block saving the biggin. There you go for Devo. Gives Devo a four two two to hit the ball. <laughs> well, no, you can just chain him out. So he has to he has to go there to stop him chaining him out. Holy shit! That's just an instant chain out. <laughs> oh boy. So um. He can still put in two players here and chain him like chain him like that, right? Can he? Two two players here and here and he blocks him into there and then that guy goes there and it's a four plus to uh hit the ball. I don't even hit a four plus to two D the ball with block. No, and it's especially in time two when you can afford that uh, that kind of things. Mm. Alternatively you can just, you know, try and win the fight. You know, he's got two standing players. He can surf this guy. No, he hasn't got a frenzy of his own. Oh, he can still surf this guy, right? He can he can chain him and then block him and then surf him. So yeah, we'll we'll see a surf here. I'm, I'm sure if I know anything about Devo, we'll see a surf here. Oh wow, he doesn't surf him. Outrageous! That is outrageous from Devo. There you go, yeah. Jimmy. Fantastic. Confirm. Ignorant about blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, honestly, I think the surf is a pretty good play. I'm surprised he didn't do it. I, you know, it's understandable him doing it when it's a when it's a bad play, but him not doing it when it, it's a good play is really weird. <laughs> and he gets to punch things, which is all all right, isn't it? But he could have got punched things anyway, right? He could have just opened with this punch and see what happened. I could have still taken. Well, he would have taken power on this one anyway. But. Interesting. Super interesting. <laughs> Finally the misery is over. That's a pretty good uh that's a pretty good headstone yeah. Finally the misery is over. Gets a stun. So far a bit of a not not a dicing, but uh definitely the better dice for Dave over here. Not going all in on the cage. I wouldn't have minded going all in on the cage here, honestly. Um, but then on the other hand, like you don't need to, right? You're already up. Going all yeah. in on the cage gives you a chance to go behind potentially as well. But I'd want to. I'd want to turn him over. I'd honestly. I'd want. I'd want to change gears here, and I'd want to try and turn him over for the one nil at half time. Like so, I'd already be thinking, let's go a bit it's higher. Uh, Do you made going to consider the surf here? Um, I think he probably will try to. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, well, and now he's given him the surf, so yeah, I think he, I think he absolutely should surf him now when he's got it for free. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh no, he's stunned. Is <laughs> is is. Frenzy stunned, so no, he's not going to go for the surf. For some reason, I was thinking this Garda was the frenzier. Like literally, I was just thinking this guy was the frenzier. The but uh, he could uh, surf the lino. Not really. You'd have to what? No, it's nah, too no, hard. No, too no, hard no. without frenzy. Yes. But we, you know, with, with frenzy, yeah, he's going to do this block here. Like put him in, stand him up, block him. And then he could have just surfed him, but he doesn't have the frenzy. The frenzy is well and truly com controlled. Devo was not <laughs> was not bad enough to just give him a free frenzy surf. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this guy was the frenzy guy. I just literally no idea. I thought this is amazing. He can get off the sideline as well. Like one, two, 
three, four, five, six. I thought it was brilliant. I just don't know. And it's just clearly God. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Surprisingly, it went for the mighty blow hit on the, like I said, defenseless lineman, right? I would have, I would have hit mighty blow onto the big and um, bit greedy. I feel like he has to be a little bit greedy now, Diamond. He's in trouble. He's in serious trouble here. Serious trouble. I think they both have to be thinking about, you know, the chances of Devo scoring on this drive. Where's the blitz going to be? Probably just got to be the line, all right. It's got to be the line all here, which isn't great. And then do this one day. A blockless block. Oh, oh. semi-final armor break. Wow. Oh, those Huge. two armor breaks are pure gold for uh, the O'Reilly. Oh, skulls there, but yeah, that was a great. That was a great turn for Diamond. Wow. Uh, that's given him that's given him something at least. To try and crack open this orc defence. Now all of a sudden you see if Devo had like engaged heavily, then uh you know, maybe he'd be in a lot of trouble with the two stuns, whereas he's still got stuff in front, it's not terrible. On the other hand, maybe if he'd engaged, you know, massively those hits would have been harder to make and stuff, who knows? I think we wanna see a blitz on that big gun. Mm hmm Yeah, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, as is the one that uh, you take it down, creates the more problems because the right uh, you have the left side of the pitch more or less covered thanks to you the two stands there. Mm. I think, honestly, I think, you know, this is, uh, this is, you know, maybe he's a little bit uh, overreacting, but I think, you know, Diamond's getting let off a little bit here. Like, you know, there's very conservative defense by Andy, and I feel like he could have put him in a lot of more trouble. But, like, th this is fine, right? Like, it's hard to, it's hard to make the call to go, like, hyper-aggressive, but I feel like if he had, he could have turned him over and got the 1-0 as it, as it is. I think Diamond will be quite happy to be not quite happy, but I think <laughs> coming out of this at nil nil it isn't over, is it? Whereas if he comes out yeah. of one nil he's down, it's he's pretty much lost. So. Yeah, I mean his chances of scoring uh, he needs a uh... And he's got nowhere, because has he? It's turn four, he's got nowhere. He has nowhere, he has nowhere to go. He has nowhere to go. I mean uh... <laughs> Both yeah. teams have the exact same movement and they're exactly in front of each other. So it yeah. doesn't matter where he goes, and they can go too. Yeah, yeah. So like, this is fine. Like, you know, it's totally fine from Andy's point of view. Like, you know, it's played safe, and he's you know very likely to stop the touchdown. But um, because he's so likely, I think I would have liked to have seen him go a bit more, you know, a bit more aggressive. Very aggressive. Maybe he doesn't realise or doesn't think he's that far ahead. But I thought he was super far ahead after the first couple of turns. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's not super far ahead and maybe this is the correct way. Ooh, another stun. Another stun. Massive equity shift. Damn, it's getting millions of stuns here now. But oh, I was uh, watching a chess game uh, and they have an equity bar. Nice. <laughs> yes, yes, they have the equity bar, you know, the, the computer calculates the equity, you know, and after each movement, you know, the equity is going. 
oh, up man. and down, up and down, depending on stuck in the middle, whatever it is. Oh, I was thinking, oh, what the heck was that? Oh my god, the equity bar. I was watching a video about a, a guy playing one of the supercomputers and how the supercomputer seems to be losing at the last day, you know, the crazy movement and like, boom, equity mm. earthquake. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, we need that. We need the we need the equity bar in Blood Bowl, don't we? <laughs> Full of made up numbers, of course. This is uh this is a little bit dicey from Diamond. I feel like this uh this mighty blow guy should have been in here. This seems, you know. Uh, I guess it's all right. It's worked out pretty well, hasn't it? The last couple of moves, it's this guy's doing the same job here as he would be there, but he's also covering about anything around there. The two stuns paid off massively now, right? Because now one guy's based, you know, so he's got th he's got a three and one here, and this guy has to trundle over, and that stun means that he's got the advantage again next turn. So this could be a big punch through. For Diomed, and he has to scramble, scramble back. Tell you what, I'd like to see if I was Andy, or what I would do if I was Andy. <laughs> um, block this guy, big and blitzes, and then change this guy across, so you get to move some players out in front of here. That's what I'd do. So I'd, I'd have followed there. I'd have, I'd have followed there, and then I'd have blitzed here to like you know either chain this guy off or chain my go guy forward or whatever, and to just to try and get some players free up over there. I mean, I guess you can also just blitz with this guy, can't you? But then you don't get as much. You don't get as much freed going this way, right? If if you, if you just blitz this guy, you know, okay, if, you know, you might you might knock this guy down. But you've you've got like an one fewer player. Yeah, he needs to uh, free a few players just to make some screen there, just to be safe. Mm. And I'd, I'd imagine that this this guy, I guess you could blitz this guy and then come back, and then the Lino can come back as well. What he's doing. He has to get an extra player somehow. It doesn't look like it's going to be enough though. This is going to be a big 1D, isn't it? He's going to have to 1D here. He's going to have to 1D. Oh, this is a beautiful GFI. Doesn't make the GFI, doesn't make the 1D. <sighs> Oh, I love the 1D and the GFI. This GFI is so much value, right? Tagging the mighty blow player there. And then this 1D, even on a push, is just fantastic. So, yeah, I think that's maybe a bit of a misplay there. A little bit of a misplay by Andy. Maybe he panicked because he was in the time bank. And, you know, he knows this has got a good chance of going overtime. And he wants to keep his time bank for other turns. But flip me, guys. This can be a fantastic turn for Diomed. And I guess crucially for Diamond is, you know, like this turn can almost make it impossible for Andy to score <laughs> on, on his drive, which is nice, right? Like uh, getting out 1-0 on your own drive true. is you know, an absolute nightmare. So. He's got a couple of options, right? You could just blitz this guy and then come through the middle, but then that lets Andy get these guys through more. Or you can just try and turn the corner and get what he can up here but then that's obviously harder to do so like harder to get more support so he, he gets less support but it makes it harder for Andy to react or he gets more support but easier for Andy to react oh my god oh, removal. 
Might have thought it's Be alignment, you. it's alignment, yeah. If that was if that had been anything but alignment, I think you'd have uphold it. Yeah. And also that create the a nice chunk of a space mm. to cage. I think what he'll do is he might even sideline here. Because I think can move the the mighty blow to probably and then try to maybe try to dodge with the guard. Mm, well I, I would I would have wanted to put this big one in here, right? And that would have gave you this hit, and it would have tagged him. And I, I really like the the guard in here. He's just gonna he's just gonna uh, I oh my god he's not I caging he's geofying. He's double geofying, and he's gonna do this. We just do a one D here. Doesn't do the one D as well. Now he can stand stands up and gets two D. <laughs> wow. Or maybe you know doesn't stand him up. Maybe he could have brought in an assist from somewhere else, and uh, you know, like we could have got a two D here and a two D here, and freed up this guard, and the guarder could have come in one, two, three, four, five, six. Then he could have blocked him, and then this guy could have stood and got back. Nothing. Oh, that's not what you want. No. Maybe it could have been a reroll there. Mm. And he still has three rerolls. It's turn five. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Getting a power there, you know, gives you a very strong position. Yeah, I think Andy is probably thinking he's going to get like a two or three turn, so he wants to keep we'll his... score um, back, yeah. Uh, maybe yeah, save that for the scoring chance. But he's not going to get a three turn, right? Because because uh, Diamond can't score this turn. Blitzer runs back. Maybe Diamond should have double GFI'd, right? He made two GFI's to make this formation. Maybe he should have made four GFI's, so at least the air uh, throw would have been in range, because he just literally can't score this turn. And the problem is with not doing this 1D, now he's down. And he's got no support, and he's got three. Well, he's got four players versus three, hasn't he? Which. Um, this is right, Jimmy. Why are you talking about doing four GFIs? No one in the history of Blue will have managed to do four GFIs. <laughs> he did two, he did two! <laughs> so he, uh, he was playing with fire, he was feeling like a god, uh, <laughs> very risky. So he blocks, he blitzes him, he blocks him, and then he goes out in front, and he's got, kind of got a screen. It's not terrible. And then he can dodge the last action, if he has to. Or he could like blitz through here and tag him. Something, I don't know. Probably, I mean, probably the safest thing is just blitz him and then block him. And then, you know, bring out the ball to get the ball two squares forward so you're in range. Or three squares forward so you're just in total range. Get the bow, very important. Yep, huge. It kinda has to stay there, right? Ah, oh, I'm not sure about this, because if this if this is just a push, he has to stay where he is. So I feel like he should have stayed where he was there, and then he could have pushed he could have pushed uh him to here, and then he could have got the blitzer out in front. And he can just roll the power. He does not roll the power, oh. he has to re roll. He does roll the power. Okay, so now he gets power. to follow. This is brilliant. They're getting the power there is great. It's a little bit greedy. Like, this square was a little bit greedy because it made, it made kind of getting this power kind of super important. But now that he's got the power, it's just incredible. And now he can make a little uh, cover there and yeah, big, safe. big trouble uh, if uh, Andy wants to uh, hit the ball. Mm. I think you have to 1D here. Or like, or dodge the big one, right? Something like that to try and get something happening. Because now, now this gives you this 1D, which is just incredible. Right? If you do this 1D, uh, if you if he'd powered here, it's just glorious because he tags them all up. Whereas now he can still free the lineman. So he's tagged and he's only got one player against three. It's, 
He's had some good AV dice this half time, that's for sure. Bunch of stuns, KO. Yeah. Very good results considering his. Uh... Well, there we go. Mm. Another one. Considering this, uh, you need to roll a 10. Yeah. yeah, unbelievable. Beautiful dice from Devo, though. Devo's definitely got the dice equity in this match. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I was Andy, I will never tell you the <laughs> dice. Just in case we're playing the final, and during the final, I will be coming to your uh, stream. Have you seen my dice, uh, Jimmy? <laughs> so you are, you know, have the pressure of thinking about the dice, not focusing <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Honestly, if I have to play Andy in in the dice, in, if I have to play Andy in the final, almost all of my attention will be on just how perfect his dice are. Yeah, hundred percent. Exactly, you'll be broken. That you'll be broken. <laughs> Instant mental victory. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, is this not easy for for one, two, three? Four, five. I mean, this is really easy. This is no pressure at all. That is not pressure, and uh, you need to apply pressure if not. The uh, Diomed is gonna wait to turn eight. Yeah. And this is not an Argel team. They can uh, score in one turn. Yeah. Ah, he gets the dodge off. Yeah, he had to do something more. He had to tag. He, he had to tag. He, he literally had to tag there. This is this is no more pressure, right? You move the blitzer to here, the ball to there. He goes one, two, three, four, five. You still got, a, you know, on the stream. He'll he'll tag you last turn, but you've got dodge with dodge, uh, like with dodge with a reroll. So eight times that nine, you score. That's better than giving him the uh, giving him the two turn to score, I think. But you know, Diamond might just score and give him the two turn. You never know. It's exactly what he's thinking right now. Yeah. Weighing up if the... Because, you know, he will have to dodge, right? Like, there's no two ways about it. He will have to dodge. And also, he has to not one in nine many blitzes because then he's only got a three plus to score, so... Um... Well, he can always try to blitz, see what happens, and then uh, evaluate. He could, yeah. Yeah, yeah if, you, if he uses the... If you use the re-roll, then he scores. But then the problem is, if you use your re-roll, then you've used your re-roll, but then you need to stop the two-turn. And what if you won an 81 and you just don't score at all? <laughs> so yeah, he just bangs it in. So there you go. I mean, a bit of a success for both sides there, really, isn't it? Diamond gets his touchdown, yeah. but Andy gets a two-turn with two re-rolls. Well, a two-turn attempt, Which, not a two-turn. Being honest, it's very difficult for orcs to uh, to turn. It is, but against you know, a, against a full team of uh, orcs on the other side. Yes, yeah, but we've seen it happen. Like you know, we've seen it happen. You, do, you don't want to give them anything more than you than you need to. So I mean, that's why it took them a little bit to think about that. A little bit of time. That wasn't uh, that wasn't an automatic. Decision. Yeah, there could be a timeout. It could be brutal. Yeah, but you can, you know, uh, can with those options. I mean, I think uh, the Omede went the most conservative way, but also is like, okay, I still have a roll. So he can take, he has to take a lot of risks. I can afford to take some little risks mm. to avoid the score. Mm. Which again is two orc teams, you know, full orc teams. We <laughs> just saw how difficult it was for Dio just trying to break out in five turns. Yeah, but I mean, he was trying to score on turn eight, right? Which is different than just trying to score in two. Mind you, scoring in two isn't easy. But if it was just scoring any amount of turns, then the game would play a lot out differently than having to time it till turn eight. But yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. I, I really don't like these deep defenses like this. But um... that's giving a lot of uh, free estate to Andy. Yeah. Also, it's just four squares. I mean, what's the difference between three and four? All all of Andy's players are gonna <laughs> move more more than four. 
True, true. I just I just tend to not like it. <laughs> I just yeah, tend to not like it. He's uh, a... As a... The famous actor that was acting with Ian McKellen uh, recently will say, you have to take all the space that you get offered. <laughs> ah, yes, it's Syrian says. <laughs> as, Syrian, as I told Syrian, you need to take all the space, you know. Like that. Life mm. is a big uh, blue ball pitch. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> I think so as well, Stick. Yeah, I think uh, I think I think so for, as well for sure. Yeah, like it, it looked really bad for him at one point. It oh, looked like Andy I was going to turn him over and score at, at one point. Hundred percent, hundred percent. If you get offered, uh, you know, a turn seven uh, a score, you will take it. You know, get the ref off the drive. Ninety-nine percent of the time. Yeah, it's got to be plus EV to score on turn seven. Especially if you don't get to, like yeah guaranteed score yeah of course you take yeah it's like a turn one do you want to move to turn uh, seven but you get a touchdown yes <laughs> yeah yes always yes yes yeah yeah I think that's fair these you know like the competitors in this are too good right it's like they might turn you over and you you know you might just fail to score you might. You might get turned yeah. over in your drive. Probably the the only one the only one that wouldn't take that would be Dio. You know, will say no because he has the equity on his side. <laughs> Let's not forget that Dio is not playing this tournament because he already won it. You know, when uh, Jimmy sent the invitation, Dio answered it with a 400-page document explaining every single play of every single game <laughs> and how he will win the final two-one. Oh my God! Andy time. did two. Andy did two GFIs instead of just one. Both rerolls gone. <laughs> Both rerolls gone right, on Big and GFL. All right, okay, tragedy. Mm. I thought he'd just done one and tagged the uh, Mighty Bill gun. Well, it's looking very unlikely now, isn't it? This deep kick. Yeah. If I was Andy, I'd consider uh, fouling. If I was Diomed, 100% sure, guaranteed. If I get any chance in Tanai to to avoid the score, and then it's gonna be the boot. Yep. Yep. I mean, he just has to run at least a blitzer down, doesn't he? Yeah, and also if our viewers uh, come from the first game and are wondering why Mr. Throw is alive again after giving his life for a score. Uh, <laughs> For a scatter, successful scatter pass game is because it's a resurrection format. You keep your team for every game. So you can actually blitz, blitz the big one and then chain the blitzer into getting hit as well and then just leave him. Or like a blitz. You could put in two players here and blitz the blitzer and then chain that blitzer back to get hit by him. So then you get knocked down two blitzers. Or in fact, even... No, you, you, know, you could... No, no, you can't do that shit. It'd be great if you could put a player in here. And you could <laughs> blitz him and chain him into him and then hit him there and just knock them all down, but you can't really do that. You'll have a chance, though. Andy will have a chance. Not a very high chance with no re-rolls, but he'll have a chance to get this two turn. Diamond's got the guard biggins, hasn't he? And guard. I really like the guard biggins. I think guard biggins are better than block biggins. I like having one block bigger. Hmm. I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate it. But the problem with, with Andy's team is he has the blitzer with Mighty Blow, who wants to blitz sometimes, and he has the blitzer with tackle, who wants to blitz sometimes, and then he has two or two biggins with block that might want to blitz sometimes. He's just got a lot. You know, he's got like a lot of got like a lot of blocking you know he's got a lot of like hitting guys whereas I you know I like that you know uh, Diamond has the frenzy guy or the mighty blow guy and everyone else is just guard and I do I do prefer that build so I mean on teams I'd be cheering on uh, I'd be cheering on Andy to win here <laughs> to be honest like for, I think I think my I think my build is going to do better versus 
Andy's team and Dynamite's team. So yeah, and then so then that gets in this hit, which then can chain the tackler back out of range as well. So he does get to knock all th knock three players out of range. The problem is the, by doing it this way, the three players that he knocks out of range, one wasn't such a good one anyway, right? And he leaves the most dangerous one still on. So that was that was what I wanted to try and do. You know, by blitzing this blitzer, I wanted to try and set up this same kind of thing, but I don't think that was possible. And I guess this guy GFIs at the end. Wants to there. Gets the pow. Chains in there. Don't follow so that there's no uh, There's no chains. There you go. Perfectly. And now, yeah. GFI or maybe double GFI. I don't know if this oh, is going to be a double. This could be a double. Well, it's an 8 and he has a roll. Do the other one. Yeah. Do the other one. You have a roll. It's a 1 and 36. Oh, my God. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I anyway, know. that, that uh, blitzer to be able to. What is. Make the pass? Yeah, he's, oh, God. He's going to be like a long bomb. And then. Or, you know, pass to a blitzer who hands off to him or something. Enough. Oh. This doesn't do anything, does it? Is he just trying to set up a big gang foul? Well, now uh, that made the, the pass, the catch even more difficult. So, yeah, I think he's uh, giving up on the score here. Yeah. I mean, you can do a 6 plus pass, 6 plus catch, 6 plus dodge. <laughs> Doesn't even try it. Doesn't <laughs> even try it. Come on. Wow. Wow. That's shocking. Shocking of Randy David. Not even trying. Giving up. Giving up. Abandoning the, the same final. Giving up the game so early. <laughs> it wasn't that unlikely, right? It was. I mean, okay, the, the pass was like, you know, had a rerun. So the pass was about 30%. And then the catch and the catch and first dodge was a one thirty six, but then after that he would have had like you know a three plus two plus two plus to score. So oh, like, yeah, yeah, after that, yeah, that, mm. that, that, that's the problem over there. But they would have tried at least the pass. You know, imagine yeah. he catches it. He's like, okay, he had like half a percent, one in two hundred chance. He had a one in two hundred chance of scoring. Like that's not terrible. A one in two hundred chance, is it? Like. It's better than zero chance. Like, you know, we all fucking it's, it's 1 in 36 and stuff. It's don't much we? higher than what the heroes get in the movies. And the heroes <laughs> in the movies always do it, so... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Every single time. I love when people say, oh, prequels are bad because there's no stakes because you know everyone's going to survive anyway. It's like, Jesus, you know everyone's going to fucking survive in every movie anyway, for fuck's sake, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of the time, yes. Most of the time, yes. <laughs> So here we go, 1 0 up for Diamond, all on Andy Devo now to get this over time. I think it's very similar to the first uh, game. It is, yeah. yeah. The difference is this time um, that it was the other way around who was receiving, right? So now yeah. um, Andy has to use his rerolls to score if he has to, whereas in, in the previous game that is not on YouTube. Um, the previous game it was the other way around so Diamond just had to use his rerolls to score um, but you know obviously he had to use as few as possible as well so like you really don't want to invest them unless you have to but then as it gets to crunch time you're really going to have to use them because you have to score because otherwise you're out um, whereas Diamond will just try and uh, try and hold on to them but if he has to use them to stop them he has to use them to stop them so it's it's interesting Uh, yeah, Sean Bean survived a few movies when Saturday comes and uh, Silent Troy. Hill. Yes, he survived in Silent Hill. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, Silent I mean, Hill. He's the only one who's alive in Silent Hill, isn't he? Exactly, he's the only one that survives, uh, surprisingly. You know, like <laughs> fucking tragedy of an ending. Very Silent Hill ending, you know, very proper. Mm. Exactly, Dio. Rerolls are for coaches that don't know how to roll. You know how to roll, you don't need rerolls. Yep. Dice are not real. <laughs> Ooh. 
Well, that, that being a board down really makes this frenzy look terrible, doesn't it? So, obviously, Andy targeted the frenzy there. Um, is is that is Diamond going to go for the two D into a pill? He is, and he gets the power. But the, you know, gives away a block anyway. But gets an AV break. A KO, instant it's a apple, kill. instant it's apple. apple, apple now. Yeah. Oof. Now Oof. brings the brings the thing. There is a player there. There is a foul there that could be made. He has a bribe, so yeah. Oh. Well, he stuns his own guy. <laughs> Wow. He's got the option just to blitz through the centre here. But the problem is he's Hawks. <laughs> so he doesn't even get anywhere. <laughs> even, if, even if he double GFIs, he only gets to here. <laughs> you are mean, it, uh... Hey. Hey. He chose to have a Mr. Throw in the team. Hmm. Yeah. Oh dear. So he's doing this blitz, but he's just not getting him as much penetration as he would like. You know, if any, he might just have to put, you know, send a few guys down. I think the better play might have been to blitz the Frenzier and then chain this guy out so you get your team back together. But he James, really looks like play. he's going all in. Oh my goodness. There you go, all in, all the eggs uh, going to the basket. James, you are too late. You, you just Google that. Oh my goodness, I'm not a fan of this. Wait, is 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 He's counting with turning over uh, Diomed in... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this seems like you're going to get pressured hard and give him like four turns to score or something. I guess at least you don't just lose in normal time. Huge pow. He needed that. He really needs to put like this lineman here, doesn't he? We're gonna see a double GFI from the uh, Mr. Throw. Or a pass. Oh my goodness. No, double uh, GFI. Mm. You had to move this guy first. Okay, he's GFI. He didn't. Did he? Yeah, maybe he didn't need a GFI. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't really matter. The order. Very, very important uh, block there. Oof. Massive one D could have been an absolute disaster. Yeah, he had some good. He had some good dice that turn. <laughs> he, like he kind of needed them, the way that he played. Do you think that the uh, Dio has any way to find uh, two dice on the ball? Um, I mean, yeah, there is an instant two dice on the ball if he wants to roll the dice. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this is pretty wild, right? You can just knock him down because you stand him up, two D him, guard in here. So it's a oh no, he's oh, fuck me. Okay, so I didn't know this guy stood up. The game's really annoying with that. The game's really annoying with like you know you can't see that this guy was act active, like you couldn't see he stood up. If he hadn't stood up, yes, he had two D on the ball. With him not being stood up, no, he doesn't have two dice on the ball. But he can like swarm loads of guard in front of the cage. Which is pretty nice, isn't it? He survived. I tell you what else Sean Bean survived. Um the one with De Niro in, you know, and uh, he goes a bit of raspberry jam back there <laughs> And he said he was in the SAS and that and uh he was called Spence. If funnily enough, Dio. He was called Spence, wasn't he? I think. What was what was that movie? Ronin. Thank you. Yeah, he survived Ronin. Wait, <laughs> same bit in Ronin. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh my god, I have a... Yeah. He's a guy who claims to be ex-SAS. And Bean said that he wanted to play it like it was... Uh, like it was ambiguous whether he actually was SAS or not, but it it was not ambiguous at all. It looked it looked very much like he was a lying piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's the one when John Renault, Robert De Niro, the one that was filmed in France. That was a good mm. movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this blitz is okay, but the problem is, I would have blitzed with I would have been greedier and blitzed with the uh, big and right to try and get two big ones in front. Whereas now he only gets one big in front. But he does like, ooh, yeah, see, this this makes him want to do GFIs before he's moved to free one. So he probably shouldn't have GFI'd here. That was easy to say after he rolls the one. But the fact he'd have to re... Well, the fact he'd really want to re-roll it sucks. Survive National Treasure, yeah. Doesn't survive Black Death. <laughs> that might be the least he survived in Black Death. <laughs> is Black Death the movie? I think it is. Yeah, this, 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 this still looks bad. That didn't seem a great turn for Diomed. And yet, it still looks pretty horrible for Andy here. Is he in range at least? I don't think he is, is he? He's not in range. Nope. Mr. Throw. So you could hand off to this Blitzer. But, uh, okay, he can chain free that line now. Mm. Sean Bean does tend to play Sean Bean, yeah. <laughs> That's true, Diamond. But, you know, De Niro's played De Niro in every fucking movie he's ever been in. <laughs> for, the, for the last uh, for 30 years, at least, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pacino was in Scarface and he's like, I like this character, I'll, I'll be him in every movie ever. <laughs> Jack Nicholson only ever played Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Even when he was the Joker, it was still just <laughs> Jack Nicholson, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> no, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise can be very different. Uh, the Tom Cruise from Magnolia is not the same in that, uh, from Top Gun. Mm. And the one was the movie that is the uh, another thing that uh, is with a black guy which is a taxi driver. Yeah, yeah, collateral. Yeah, I liked him in that. A shame that he Hello. lost. He lost to the taxi driver in the end. Sorry for the spoilers, but that was really stupid. Like all through the movie, he's like the ultimate mega assassin, and then he loses to a taxi, an untrained taxi driver in the finale. It's like yeah, that on. was that was absolutely mental. Mm. Makes the score, so there you go. And he doesn't just give uh, Diamond a four-turn score, he gives him a six-turn score. So, wow, that was a very early score from Andy. Andy used two re-rolls. The Rock, he does, doesn't only have a close that he can die. The Rock has a close that he can't lose fights. Yeah, yeah, he can't. He can't ever, he can't ever like, get, um, like, get hit more than he hits his opponent or whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 that that's it's, it's absolutely incredible that the rock how he's gone from being everybody loves the rock uh, to the point that everybody's bored of the rock. <laughs> oh, I've, I've gone around the wrong bloody way here. Sorry, it must have switched itself. So, um, yeah, this is huge now. I mean, Diamond, can you obviously use both rerolls to score? And he can bang it in early, right? If he scores in five, um, he's quite happy with that. Even if he scores in four, it's not two, but he's only given Andy a two turn. So, yeah, Diamond will chuck the dice at this and get the job done, I think. There you go. Vin Diesel. <laughs> Oh dear. That was that was interesting, wasn't it? The uh, just getting the score on the board. I mean, oh wow, it oh. did look <laughs> it did look super bad for Diamed's drive at one point. So you know, I guess if Andy thinks that happens again, 
he's in with a chance, but I would not be betting on it. Lovely kick as well for Diamed. I do wonder if uh, Segal has had, had a had a you know a thing like that. Maybe, me or maybe not yes, causing yes. his contract. Yes, but. of course he has, and probably he has one that uh, uh, doesn't make him stand uh, up for more than one minute. <laughs> yeah. He can remain seated all the movie. Yeah, Danny Trejo reminded me because he was in like he was in Machete Kills or whatever, wasn't he, Segal? And then like he loses the fight, and he's like, ah, I could still kill you right now, but I'll, I'm just bored of surviving. <laughs> Like stamps himself or whatever. <laughs> it was class. <laughs> Flipping cigar. <laughs> oh wow, Andy really on the ropes here. A much different game than the first one for me. Yeah, that was a very uh, ultra aggressive. Uh Second half by Andy that is looking rough, looking very, very rough. Mm. Diomed has the advantage in players, has the ball in a very nice uh, and the foul, of course, because he has a terrible foul. I will never have done that foul, <laughs> even with a bribe. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it's with guard working on foul still. It might have been worth thinking about saving the foul for, you know, a better player, but I guess he's made that removal already. If he just gets a KO here, it's, it's a huge chip, isn't it? Down to nine players is almost drive over, so... Yeah. Yep. This is uh, very, very tricky for Andy. But it's his choice, right? It's his choice. He, he went for that quick score. Like it, it seemed yes. destined knew, to be a quick knew, score. He yeah. knew the risks. He knew mm. the risks. He knew that it uh, could happen. He just thought, you know, it's a few dice to get the touchdown done and then hopefully he can stop. Diamond, interesting. And Diamond, if any role he makes, you know, the, the, the one in 36 is always there. Mm. But with two rolls. And also, like. And the apple. And Di the bribe. <laughs> and the bribe. He's also kind of free rolling now as well, right? He, he, you know, even if, uh, even if things go wrong, he can just, you know. He's still going to overtime, right? Whereas, uh... Yeah, I mean, I think this is more or less overtime uh, guaranteed for a uh, deal. And mm. Andy Davo, right now, right now, the equity bar says that best case scenario is a uh, draw for uh, overtime. Yeah. In the dice log, why is the space? I mean, yeah, it's just cyanide, just cyanide things. What can you do? Is Diamond going to push the sideline again? Looks like it. Oh, a blockless blitz. Oh, you can. Does oh, re roll it? Big, big re roll. Wow. Really didn't have to do this blitz. Wow, 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 wow. He's got to move the uh, ball and a couple of players to protect him before he makes this hit. No, he doesn't. I think I would have blitzed. I would have tried to blitz with block. I think I would have tried a less adventurous blitz with block. Lefty. I think that's my... my. I would have only made that blitz if I would have eaten the one in nine, but I would, therefore I would have blitzed with block, so I didn't have to eat a one in nine. Basically, if I could have done, like I don't feel a lot of pressure to push forward here. I wouldn't have been feeling too much pressure to push forward here. Um, 
Though obviously, like you don't want to go over time as Diamond, right? You want to win in normal time. You've got a great opportunity to win this in normal time. You do not want to go over time. As much as you're kind of free rolling, you still want to use both re rolls to score and just win. Um, but yeah, I would have tried to blitz with, with block, yeah. I would not want to have to re roll that one in nine. Biggestan now Oh He's thinking but you can't <laughs> use the reroll there. No. It's not churning out for another hit now. I would have pushed this guy up here and then gone here and then 2D blocked him rather than just getting smashed by Mighty Bull. I guess this way he you know he gives up like he's giving up a lot of hits but if he you know it gives him it gives Diamond a chance to one in nine. <laughs> Which is pretty good, isn't it? And he has to eat this one. Well, you know, it's a very tough one, yeah, because if uh, wow, if he ate that one that leaves more or less a lot of space. Mm. That's a big, 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 big chain. Oh, now he gets the double power with another big, big, big chain. Mm. This was. Uh, what does this achieve? Well, it pushes the armor break. Yeah, it gets an armor break, which is pretty good. And it means that the hit's back. I mean, that stun is massive. Oh, okay, three one. stuns. Three stuns that turn is pretty incredible. But this stun particularly was like the biggest stun imaginable because otherwise he just had a 2D and then a 2D and, you know, a 2D from him as well. And now that he just can't do anything. For, oh, my God, that is absolutely brutal. That is brutal for Diamond. Flip me, guys. Hey, Daurek, subscriber Daurek. Uh, I don't think that uh, I've been worse or better than this game. It's been, you know, both of them have the, a lot of stuns. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? There was like basically no AV breaks in the first game, and this, this, this game this both sides have got a bunch of stuns. of armor stun. breaks. Yeah. I mean. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Andy scored really quickly. Uh, Andy chose to score really quickly, but you know, like he obviously he's obviously had worse dice than last time, right? Because he's he's had a guy cast and Andy's used his apple on a KO. Diamond hasn't used his apple at all, so like he's definitely had um, better dice, but like not not in fucking insane dice or anything, but uh, definitely noticeably, you know, noticeably 
noticeably, if not massively worse. Whole torque. Yeah, the, the biggest the biggest influence on the result has been Andy's decision to score super quickly. And now, you know, that's given Diamed the freedom to also score super quickly, right? Now Diamed blitzing down the sideline here is a completely valid play. Ooh, that's not what I would have done. I would have, uh, I would have chained away... Ah, uh, you know, I guess this is okay. I think I would have chained away the blitzer. And then I would have 2D blitzed the big one and then run down. Like, cause I, I quite like running forward here as... As Diamed, you know, just so he gets the score as well, right? And then he's 2 1 up. And now Andy has to score in like two turns. I would have quite liked forcing Andy to score in two turns. But the problem is the stuns, right? The stuns make you just want to come try and consolidate this turn. But he's going, he's going for the sideline no, cage. Is, uh... Oh, and that's the last roll. Might not even work as well. I mean, it has to re-roll it. It does work. And now he's going to get jammed in so hard here. Big uns everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This this was a choice going down here with three guys stunned. It's going to be like the meme of the white girl and the four black guys <laughs> behind. If I were the same. But with orcs. I missed the throw. <laughs> oh, and then he's cast oh! himself. Well... <laughs> Does the apple use? No, no, it's just, it's just a lineman. So he's got. Oh, yeah, he's got yeah, 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 he has more. He has more. <laughs> no roll over time. No roll right now. Every roll matters. This is it. This is proper blood for like the good old legs. Oh. You ban all your rerolls. Uh, you didn't buy your rerolls because you thought they weren't any useful. Let me. Let me... Oh my god, Hellboy! Do you think that this is, <laughs> he's gonna play up? <laughs> well, I don't know, uh, <laughs> Nuderino. This is gonna be a very interesting equity is always at play. <laughs> Best impressions ever. I, I, I've been trying to imagine them, you know, like the Joggy Bear and the Small Bear. <laughs> what was his name? Boo? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, you know, the, the big one is uh, Duderino. The... <laughs> there you go, there you go. Joggy and Boo Boo, yes. Joggy and Boo Boo. Uh, Duderino and... Uh... <sighs> Hellboy. Oh, my God. I mean, this is the problem, right? He just gets brutally shut down. Like... This was always going to happen. He's, he's got no players. He had three players stunned. Like, if this was always going to happen. I feel like Diamond probably should just try to consolidate that turn. And then make a big push. Well, we, we, we have gone now to the... Can Andy score? Nah. Wait, wait. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I now think if you're Diamond, you, you, you make sure the, you can't, though. The overtime advantage that... Uh, Diome, the hat, was the rerolls. Yep. Is it more or less gone? It is. I mean, he can still come back this turn. He can still come back, right? He, he, it's not actually that easy. He's got to dodge, actually. Or, or, like, uphill block versus block isn't good. So he's probably just got to dodge to come back. But he, he could actually just come back with that, that knockdown there. You know, he can block here, he can put guard in here, and he can, he can kind of make kind of a pocket to fall back to. That's probably better than trying to push forward, like he just can't push forward. There's nothing to push forward with. I mean, no, no, I mean, it's... I guess I mean, he could uphill. He can uphill him, and if it's a push, he gets to 1D. And then, you know, maybe he's a dodger, yeah. He's got a 1D for a push, and then 1D blitz for a push, and then a dodge and a double GFI. Whew. Blitz with whom? The 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 thrower. He's got he's got a he's got an uphill uphill with the blitzer. Yes, but there is a guard. He uphills with the blitzer, right? Yeah. And pushes him to here, and then he blitzes yeah. from there with the guard assist. Ah, okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay, okay. And unless he's uphill powered, him, like he's got to get an uphill push, 
very unlikely you get an uphill power. If he gets an uphill power, then a 1D power will, will save the dodge, but very likely he's going to have to dodge as well if he scores. But he might come back to this pocket, but he's still got to dodge to get, or, or he's got an uphill block, or dodge to get back to this pocket. So getting back to this pocket isn't that easy either. Oh no, okay, so he could. this guy could blitz. No, one, two, three, four, five, double GFI blitz, then he can block, and then he can 1D, and then he can run back a bit. That's a possibility. Flip me. He's not blitzing out. Maybe he's just going to dodge back. Does the uphill get the uphill pals? Oh my goodness. That is unbelievable. What a wrist, what a wrist to throw dice. The golden wrist. Oh my <laughs> god. Now is he going to 1D? Is he going to 1D blitz? He is. Yeah. He gets a skull. <laughs> Into the head. No. <laughs> and he didn't make this hit first, so Andy has a scoring threat. Outrageous. Outrageous, Andy has a scoring threat. No rerolls, though. <laughs> Might as well not have a scoring threat, but flip me. Well, guys, go and grab something from the fridge. Seems we are going to overtime. <laughs> Oof. Yep, well, he's actually going to be overtime this time as well. Yeah. Guaranteed overtime, my God. Guaranteed overtime. Imagine if there is no overtime. What was the, the whole point of this thing? <laughs> no, no, it's definitely, there's definitely overtime. He gets double surf for his troubles as well. Okay, nothing happened. Hmm. So that's more. Oh my God! This is this is. And the day was master plan coming to fruition. Hmm. That surf's nice and all, but honestly, this blitz, if he'd made this blitz here, then he could have chained him there, and he could have three flushed out. <laughs> but, but, you know, he was very unlikely to score anyway, so it makes sense to go for the damage. Damage in overtime is more realistic than a silly, a silly score. Yeah, maybe a misjudgment there from Diamond, eh? But, uh, you know, it's a game. Well, it's it's not, not, not easy to score, right? Like, you know, this is the thing. I, I gave or took the score, right? It's not easy to score, these these guys, these teams. They both do still have bribes, yeah. Nobody foul, to foul for Dave because he's, <laughs> cause he's, uh, he's surfed them. Yeah, you can't tell so well behind the uh, behind the thing, but yeah, there is a bribe there. Yeah, both of them have the coin that is the bribe. I think Andy's. Oh wow! I think Andy's defending the score a bit too much. Um, I don't think that was you know, quite as. Quite oh, he went for the he went for the four plus dodge to get the scoring threat and then cast himself. Oof. Oof. That was a big gun. Mmm. Uh, blitzer. Blitzer. Oh. That's pretty, pretty disappointing. As it is now, uh, Dio Med is going to have the player advantage in uh, overtime. If yep. there is an overtime. Yeah. Two serves and then his guy gets cast. Yeah, that's brutal. Is there, is there a serve? Probably not. Yeah. Well, the, the, the seed machine gun. I mean, uh, Mr. Throw roll a skull, but the previous roll was a double power uh, red dice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Without rerolls. Yep. Imagine if Diamond had saved a reroll, he might have got a power on that one day blitz.
<laughs> oh well. Yeah, that's... That's, uh, that's a square. That's a square for the ball to be. That's a square. <laughs> yeah. Of all the squares of the pitch, that's one of them. That's pretty unbelievable, isn't it? That's that's given that's given Diamond half a chance. It's with not no a big chance. It's not a big chance, but there is a chance. Yeah, with no rerolls, anything can happen. <laughs> In fact, based on the fact that we live in a quantum physics universe, literally anything could happen. Yeah. Oh my god, he goes for the 4+, plus. I thought he made it. He goes for the 4+, plus and fails. Imagine if, he'd, imagine if he died as he went through the 4+, plus touch as well. Oh dear. Now comes the double skulls that... Uh... Okay, good, good. Page moves first. Here comes the roll. Zapau. Yeah, three tackles, one's on the ball. The problem is he can he can scatter it, right? He can scatter it and then uh you know he can he can have some dice at it. So Andy still wants to try and pick it up, I think. Even with three yes. tackles on on it. Or at least tag the frenzy guy, I guess. I guess you could tag the frenzy guy. From behind. That's pretty strong. I know they're terrible foul. These people don't <laughs> know how to play this game. This, is, this game is dead. This game is dead. Yes, everybody will install and uh, let's move on. Oi! Oh! Oh my god! Of all the squares, that's one of them. <laughs> um, is there is there a way? You might just have to go for the five three two, right? Is there a way to clear a tackle zone with a big un? You can block him for a one two. No, he's in the way of the big uns, right? Three four five G double GFI to two D un, and it's still not that good. He could go three GFI, and then if he powers him, you could clear both tackle zones. So it might actually be worth doing it. It might actually be worth doing that. One, two, three, GFI, right? Clear this guy with a three D. And then one, two, three, four, five, double GFI to three D to two D and if you power him, you clear both tackle zones. This is definitely the play. A million percent. And you see this uh Jimmy Shaper computer I've decided I'm <laughs> the best play, so <laughs> In fact, what we could even do is um, put a player here, power him, put him to there, then one, two, three, four, five, GFI, and then he could do the blitz himself uh, with the guard, and then he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's that's one less GFI, isn't it? So yeah, that's that's even better. That's even better. Three dice. The first part of the plan is coming uh, together. Yeah. Now you need to do. You want to do this? There you go. Okay. Well, he doesn't. And here we go. He's rolled a six. He's rolled a three. He's rolled a two. Oh my God. Well, there you go. Congratulations, dear man. Uh, commiserations, Andy Davo. What a final turn. What, what, the, what were the odds of getting all those dice? Not very high. Not very high. No. I mean, it was... I mean, yeah, no, because he just, he just needed the push so you can kind of... That was a one in nine. Then, yeah, four, three, two was... Uh, was uh, it was something, wasn't it? Well, that is the semi-final competition over, because <laughs> I had to make a... Uh, what, to make three it. games for a semi-final stage? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, because obviously what I, I could have set up like a... I could have set up a four-man competition, but I wouldn't, didn't know, you know, that... 
I think it's the order people accept their tickets in dictates the like the seeding. So I just thought it was easy. Like I thought about this before, right? Before when I didn't make it a semi final, I thought I'll make each semi a different competition. I literally thought of, I thought of all this and then just didn't do it. So um, there you go. Um, so that was a bit of a dicing, wasn't it? There in the end for Andy. But you know, the overtime could have been a dicing as well in the first game if it had been. They did both agree to, to do a full replay rather than, oh, well, you know, Diamond didn't want to do the overtime and then Andy did do the overtime. Uh, did do and the replay. We'll have a final. Which whoever uh, wins the final will get a ticket. Oh, thanks for the raid, Andy. Whoa. You can be mine. A massive raid. Thermonuclear uh, raid. <laughs> and what the. Uh, <laughs> How hard is Danny? I mean, there's no bitching crypto, Nick. At the end of the day, Diamond, you know, look, so no justice. Right, well, this is the thing, right? This is the thing, right? It was, it was my fault for not setting up the competition. Uh, I, I thought, I, you know, I knew, well, I, didn't, I didn't know. I, I, I decided that I was going to make a semi-final one competition and a semi-final two competition and invite people to those and then make the final rather than try to make a four man for the playoffs because I, th I did think i thought about it all and then i thought i'll make a i'll make a playoffs group for like the discord and then and then you know sort it all out in that but then there was already a playoffs channel in the discord so because there was already a playoffs channel i just like added people who were already in the playoffs channel and then kind of forgot completely to, to make the playoffs so um so yeah it was it was it was all my fault that the, the the disaster happened once that disaster happens then it's up to the players to decide right uh j5 who was the uh, you know the uh the impartial admin because i'm in the final right so i can't be you know i mean i would be impartial but i could be seen as being not impartial right like it's just my word for saying i'd be impartial and plus you have like you have you know by whether you think you're biased or not you still do have biases right so like and personally my opinion is i don't like doing replays i don't like full replays in general and if it was me i would really want to do the overtime um but you know the overtime favored diamond right um he he was receiving the ball even though he was down a play he was still receiving the ball so i think i think you know he was in a strong position maybe he was mentally shot you know because he was not happy about the whole situation i don't think andy was happy about it either but Diamond seemed more, you know, more annoyed by the frustrated, whatever, by by the situation of, of the it not going overtime. And he did not take it well, and he wanted to go the replay, and he was happy to do overtime. You know, some people are different. Like I would have definitely rather done the overtime there and then, but other people, other people would like to do the replays, wouldn't they? You know, other people, other people are quite happy about replays, and you know. Um, you know, Dimer definitely got the better dice than Andy here, but on the other hand, he could have got the better dice if they if they played overtime as well, couldn't he? He could have just made a couple of cars, and that would have been it. So, you know, who knows? Who knows what it was? But um, it was a great game uh, as well, wasn't it? So there you go. Adam Bradley utterly diced him. Andy diced himself by scoring quickly. That was a that was a strange strange decision from Andy to score quickly, and like you know, it's. It is hard. I mean, he, he diced him on the touchdown, obviously, and he, he did make more armor breaks. And you know, he got two guys surfed, and nothing happened. And then he, and then he, he surfed two guys for nothing, and then he failed to dodge into death. So I wouldn't say he utterly diced him. I mean, he definitely got the worst of the dice. You know, and he definitely got the worst of the dice. 100%. The last turns of the second half, yeah, they were very hard for. The... Yeah, yeah. It looked Sorry, worse towards the end as well. Yeah, like the recency bias of the last few turns were tremendously skewed. That's, that's true all... as well. Diomed played a very risky game that ended with two of his players out. Yeah, yeah, that was incredible. So there was risky, a both yeah. A, yeah, I felt that but turn with the three degree. stuns, Diomed should have like you know tried to just consolidate his position and push the next turn, but that that push was kind of yeah the three stuns yeah yeah at the, at the end it was definitely yeah it was a dicing at the end but overall you know Diomed had the better dice overall up until the last three turns when it yeah it did become a dicing then <laughs> but then you know he still the three guys stunned right the three guys the three stun turn from andy was unbelievable right that was an yeah. unbelievable swing turn which basically ended ended diamond let's, 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 let's focus on the fact that the omed started dicing andy when mr throw failed that <laughs> role creating that sense of false security in andy that destroyed the game for him and gave a 
Dio made that absolutely epic <laughs> scatter yeah, yeah. when they gave ball out of bounds and then just you know your classic uh, blitzer pickups the pick up the ball and scores. Yeah, yeah. There's a game, Mr. Throw Sacrifice again. <laughs> started the thing. <laughs> and uh Hello Dalio and yeah, you know look and and yeah, Teox, honestly, like, plenty of people could have diced Andy and still lost, right? Like, the, the, those dice that came on the last turn had to be thrown, right? Lots of people would have yes, had those have dice. He had lost. to find the play. Diome has to find the play. It wasn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't an easy play to find. And also, let's check the screen right now. You're watching, everybody. MVP, both teams, <laughs> Mr. Pro. Amazing. Amazing. And yes, Diamond will probably beat me in the final. I've got the final every single season of Super League and lost in the final three times out of three so far. So, you know, probably he'll beat me in the final again. Um, but there oh, you go. I'm ready with the mind games. I'm ready with the mind games. <laughs> Dropping the early GG. Okay, the Omedi, this is it. You have won, you have won. If, if, he, if I win, it's all your fault. <laughs> yeah, and, and for there's a command that doesn't work, Dalio, but Super League is... Um, is the league of all the best players in Blood Bowl 3. Um, well, not all. That accept invitation. 12 of the best, 12 of the best players in Blood Bowl 3 that accepted the invitation. Um, and there you go, and that was it. So, yeah, really, really good players. Euro Bowl rules, resurrection, so, you know, fair games, uh, tabletop style, top quality players. It's been absolutely fantastic. All of the games are on uh, all the games are on my YouTube, and you know Andy's games are on his yeah, YouTube, and with always with the best commentators available at the, at the moment. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yeah, exactly. El. <laughs> Blood Bowl Two Super League went more streamers, right? Went more streamers, and then uh, this one um, with it being the World Cup ticket, you know, we didn't want any controversy about like you know favoritism or whatever, so made it mostly based on the season two finals placements. So that's like that's why there was a lot of season two. Um, finals people in it, and like why there wasn't K Fog and uh, why there wasn't Andrew, basically. basically. Right, anyway, that's uh, that is it. We should end the YouTube video at some point. So, um, right, thank you very much, Fine. It was great having you in the booth, absolutely glorious as always. A uh, big pleasure uh, to be here, and I guess I'll be here around here for the final too. For glorious, hopefully, the weekend, hopefully, on Saturday. We shall see, we shall see, and uh, right, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and uh, of course congratulations to Diamed, who plays me in the final, and uh, commiserations to Andy, who yeah, did have some shocking dice the last few turns. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.